Right, so today is going to be a special day. We're leaving Palermo for the morning and we're heading into the mountains to visit the mountain town of Montalebre. This is the town where my side came from, my mom's side, and we're going to visit the church where my grandparents were married and also the same church where my great uncle was a Monsignor. So keep watching and see what the mountain town of Montalebre is all about. Okay, so we're heading up to the mountains to visit the town of Montalebre. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. And our expert driver taking us there is Daniel. <laughs> Soon we left the main highway and we're on small country roads. So we're uh, taking, looks like single lane mountain roads to get there. Each corner you have to beep your horn so nobody uh, hits you coming around the other side. <laughs> Soon the one lane road became a half lane road because of road work. As we rounded the bend, we could see Monk de Lebre off in the distance. So uh, right behind me is the uh, town of Montalebre. We're approaching the town now. You can see it in the distance, right there. As we approached the town of Montalebre, we came across a local sheep herder. Our driver asked him how to get to St. Joseph's Church in Montalebre. La chiesa di San Giuseppe dove la troviamo? Eh, eh, nel corso, non nel corso, cioè, in piazza, dentro una piazza. piazza no? sì, ci arrivo con la macchina, ci sì, arrivo? Sì, certo, sì. Anche se è un po' grosso, sì. Ci arrivo. Quindi sai con la strada, arrivo in As we arrived in town, we came across the restaurant and hotel of the famous Giuliano family. Salvatore Giuliano was a well-known Sicilian bandit, a sort of Robin Hood type, back in the 40s and 50s. And there's a plaque on the original family home. Still trying to find our meeting point at St. Joseph's Church, our driver Buongiorno. spoke to a police officer. Chiedo di San Giuseppe dove la troviamo. Ci arrivo con sushi e cos'è? Sì, sempre dritto arrivo in piazza. Dritto non... His reaction to the beeping horn was classic Italian. Incrocia. Gira a sinistra. Che cos'è? Un menù. Gira a sinistra. So, la strada arriva a Piazza Alla Piazza. Grazie. Troppo gentile. We finally made it to our meeting point, St. Joseph's Church. This square was once home to my grandparents and my great uncle, the Monsignor, 100 years ago. This was once their home, but now it's a restaurant. The current owner was kind enough to open the doors and give us a tour. The lower floor was where the chickens were kept and the upper floors were the living quarters. We're gonna walk upstairs now. <laughs> we stood on the balcony where my mother once stood 75 years ago. We then walked along the ancient medieval streets. So we're going to head to the church where um, our great uncle was a Monsignor. It is also the church where my grandparents were married. We were met by the caregiver of the church who graciously let us in. The church was hundreds of years old, but clearly well maintained. 
It was one of the most beautiful churches we saw during our trip through Sicily. We took a group photo in front of the main altar. We learn that the side altars are maintained by the families in Montalebre. That you see there are different, like this, this, this. They are all managed by different families in the, the neighborhood. The neighborhood manages the altars? Yes. They do? Yeah. Ah. After touring the church, it was time for greetings to be sent from those in Montalebre to those in the U.S. <laughs> then it was time to hear stories of what happened in the town 80 years ago. Yes. Another <laughs> story right. that uh, uh, when it was uh, your, your uncle? Uncle? Okay, there was uh, the service there, and he was like preaching, mm -hmm. and uh, her, the sisters came into the church, but they were like with the skirt, like, uh, short, 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 short uh, yes. Right. Yeah. And so he stopped, and he yelled, "You go out!" <laughs> <in the church." laughs> and they went out <laughs> because uh, it was uh, too much to go in, uh, into a church. Yeah, to be uh, you had to be covered. So they maybe forgot, and he stopped doing anything, preaching. So he stopped the mass and said, yes, "Go out." You go out. Go out. In English. In English. Go out. English. Go out. We were then invited to their homes for Sicilian treats. This is homemade tiramisu. The tiramisu means what? Uh, cheers me up. Cheers me up. So homemade tiramisu. It is so good. At a home in <laughs> Montalebre, <laughs> Sicily. It's beautiful. It can't get any better than this. <laughs> So let's take a look and see how they make coffee in Montalebre. The coffee machine. Oh, wow. Oh, that? Okay. okay. Oh, oh, look. How do you do it? You have the water here, right? and then a little filter where, where you put the coffee. And that's it. And it heats oh, up? It's made. It goes up and it... Yes, it goes up and it goes here. Right. So when it comes like here, you switch it off and it's done. And it's done? Yeah. Wow. And we have different sizes, like very big. Oh, big for big parties? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty and neat. the smell. Mm. The smell is good. We then took a walk and explored the town. Soon we were invited into another home for more treats. And it is made of a sort of the Then it was time to say our goodbyes. Ciao. 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 What we learned today is that by looking at the past, you get a better understanding of the present. We will be forever grateful to our relatives and friends of Montalebre for allowing us to spend the morning with them to get a better understanding of where we came from. Until next time, safe travels.